I am your vegan food explorer and today I've got an awesome, awesome video. I've been to Iceland the other day and I was shocked to discover that you can buy Greg's vegan sausage rolls, the infamous, the famous, the epic vegan sausage rolls and then cook them at home on your own. Couldn't believe it. So we're going to put these, we're going to do a proper taste test on these and we're going to go and compare it with the real deal from Greg's, from the bakery, from the hot, hot counter and see how it stacks up. Let's go. Right, before we go, we're going to pop this in the oven and then we're going to pop down to Greg's, get the, get the vegan sausage roll so this can be cooking before we come back. So just a quick check. It's, it should be exactly the same as the one in the in the shop. The only difference I can tell, the ingredients, it's got the corn and mycoprotein in, but the only difference I can see is the calories. It is two calories less than the one in the shop. So there you go. If you want to cut your calories, you've got to get this one because you'll be saving two calories. Um, so this one, we're going to pop in the fan oven for 30 minutes. So we're going to take this out, drop it on the floor first. Ah, we're going to pick that up. Hopefully they're still still all in one piece. Right, let's try and open this up with one hand. So, before I start opening this up, actually I should just say, so this pack, the only other difference is this pack is four, four, four of them for £2.50. So that's about 60, 61.5p or something like that. Um, 61.75p per vegan sausage roll, whereas in the shop, it's a pound, so that is a pretty big substantial saving to be honest. Oh, how did these come? So you literally just pop them in the oven. Oh, there you go, look at that. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, those are super uniform, I mean they look identical. Size-wise, looks about right. That's gonna puff out really, really nicely. So, right, let's get this in the oven um, and we'll see, see what's what. And then we'll pop down to Greg's while that's cooking and come back. But initial, initial look, look and feel, Looks exactly the same. I think it just needs to expand a little bit more out there and then we're gonna be perfect. But apart from that, it is looking good. Right, pop that in a, in a little pot. 180 degrees and we'll see you in 30 minutes. So I went, we are luckily blessed with actually having two Greggs in my town. And I couldn't believe it because the first Okay, right, we're just back. We've got our Greggs in the bag. One pound, enjoy our vegan friendly range so we know we've got the right one. And then we've just taken this out of the oven. That is super hot, why did I do that? So, that is already looking pretty interesting. Slide this out and I think you'll find that they already look pretty different. I am really, really surprised by that because when they were frozen, they look completely the same. But if you can see the angle here, it's kind of got, I don't know, it looks like a sports car <laughs> sort of vibe going on here. If we can just get that in focus. We've got an absolutely massive bulbous bit there. This, this looks identical to when they were frozen. So this is a shop bought and this is the, the frozen Iceland version. It's also a bit burnt. I actually took it out about three minutes before the cooking because I could smell, it's really nice smell, but already that is really, really different. Right, let's come open and get a bit of a taste test going. Right, I am super, super excited for this. So remember, we've got our one from the Greg's shop and then we've got our one from the Iceland range. I can't believe how different they are. Lengthwise, they're exactly the same, but this one is so much more shriveled. <laughs> um, right, let's cut them open and have a look. Smell-wise, they smell very, very similar. This one just smells a bit more uh, cooked uh, in a bad way. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so we've got the cra cracking thing here. Oh, that is a lot more crispy. A lot more crispy. Okay, let's put our knife over here. Right, so I think they look, I, I mean, the, the sausage looks identical there, but look at the difference in the, in the actual sausage roll. This one's a lot hotter because I've had to walk this back, but this was actually warm. I was a bit worried sometimes I get ones that aren't warm from Greg's, but let's have a taste test. Okay, smell. Oh, that smells so much like sausage roll. So this is the one from, from Greg's. Let's have a bite. Oh. Mm. 
I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I, even regular non-vegan sausage rolls don't taste that good. That is so, so nice. We often, you know, hate on corn, Q-O-I, a bit, just because they kind of got a bit lazy and should have been way ahead of everyone else, but they have done an absolutely amazing job with that one. Right, let's crack on. I'm really excited for this one. So remember, this is half the price almost as these ones. Obviously you have to buy a pack, but the actual unit costs half the price. So let's have a find out. Ooh, smells a bit different. Smells a lot more <laughs> earthy than this one. This smells very light. Let's have a go. Oh, it hot. Okay, very, very hot. Be careful. Oh, that's really interesting. Let me have another bite. I'm just going to go back to the other one. Hmm. Okay. Right. Oh, this one, the pastry, it, it, this is really hard to d distinguish. I've got to say, this one is not as good as the store, store cooked one by quite a way, to be honest. The sausage, it tastes a bit different. It doesn't taste as as light and, and as seasoned as this one. This one's got, the one from the shop has got that really depth of flavour which has got the seasoning it tastes like sausage so so well this one's a bit more basic so the, the flavour is just up like with sausage it has got a little bit of the sausage flavour in the background and um, and then also the pastry it's a lot more flaky like I would say it's completely different to this one maybe we need to cook it a bit less but it feels I mean even now it looks a lot different it's all closed up here I mean this is like it basically exploded um, and look at that, I mean, it's all flaking off like that. This one, not at all. So I think that's really, really interesting. The pastry tastes a lot different. This one's lighter, airy. This one's more like a, I don't know. It's like a phyllo pastry. It's, it's like I made it myself, um, it feels like. Whereas this is solid, secure. It's got a really nice crisp, but then it's got a super soft in the center. This one is just crispy and then a little bit hard actually. Um, and then the sausage is not as tender as this one. So, okay, so I would say flavor-wise, good. Pastry, mm, not so good. Price-wise, it's not half as good as this. It's it's close, so I think value for money, that is a cracker. But my summary is you just can't beat the taste of a Greg's sausage roll from the shop. This is a great one if you just need to get that fix. Have them in the freezer, they last forever. But I gotta say, it doesn't quite live up to the ultimate from Greg's. Thanks for watching. We're going to try again. So check out our Instagram because I want to try and see if we can perfect cooking this one. See if maybe it needs a little bit less than 30 minutes and um, maybe on a bit of a lighter, lighter temperature. But we'll do some testing. Check out the Instagram because we're going to have a, a lot more updates on there. But thanks for watching. And of course, see you in the next video.